Hey, what's good, y'all? It's Stop Boy Ken, and I'm coming back to y'all with another video, another banger, all right? This week, we're going to be going over my top three plays, all right? These are plays I've been looking at, I've been evaluating, I've been doing my DD, my due diligence, I've been doing my research, I've been putting the time in the lab to get this right, all right? So before we get into this video, let's look at last week's plays, all right? Look, look. Me, Lee, I got my, got my book here. Go, go through it, all right? Last week, man, let me tell you. We ran it up on them, all right? Last week, I hit y'all with four fire plays, all right? But one of them, one of them did exceptionally well. Exceptionally well. One of them did exceptionally well. The rest of them, they all went up. They just didn't go up crazy, all right? So in order, EDEX, all right? Ticket symbol I-D-E-X. When I called it, that was at $4.47. The top price for this week, you know, since I called it, it went up, I think, 81 cent, and it hit $5.28, right? That was a 20% gain. So if y'all gotten that, congratulations to y'all, 20%. Again, I told y'all the shit that I told y'all last week. This company is all over the place, but it's subject to rise, it's subject to rise. It's gonna rise, but this ain't no Tesla, all right? The next one, Zom, Zometica, right? I gave y'all that one at $1.07, is what it did. Yee, all right? That thing said yee, to the moon, to the moon, right? Looking at it, I gave it to y'all 107. That thing hit 197 this week. We don't know what's to come for next week. Uh, be careful, you know, someone hit me up and they're like, y'all got Zom, I did a good job, I did a good job, good on you. But we don't know what's, what's coming this week. Um, it's a lot of hype around this play right now. It could drop or more people could buy into it. If it drops, obviously you could buy it up at your discretion. Remember, I ain't a financial advisor. This all for uh, edutainment only, all right? It's edutainment right here. Entertainment, education. But that thing went up 93%, 93 freaking percent. So if you put $100 in this, shit, you, you would have left with $193, all right? It's close to, that's close to a double up, and that's what we're here to do, is double up that money. The next one, Vine, ticker symbol V-Y-N-E. So when I called Vine, it was at $2.58. This week, it ran up to $3, just 42 cents. But you know, with a small play like that, 20% increase in this stock in the last week. So keep your eye out on that. You can keep it, you can keep the play, you can get rid of it, just keep an eye out. You know, it might jump some more, it might go down some more. And the last one, Workhorse. When I called Workhorse, it was at $35. The highest point that it reached this week was $42.50. That's a $7.50 increase this week. Overall, it's an 18% increase. So I gave y'all some fire plays and look, we are gonna do the same damn thing this week, all right? Without further ado, let's get into this video, all right? We about to run it up some more. So these stocks that I'm about to load up on this week, is uh, VG Acquisition Core. So the ticker symbol for this one is VGAC. The current price for VGAC is $16.04. What's coming up with VGAC? They're trying to do a merger with 23andMe. If you guys don't know what 23andMe is, 23andMe is it's kind of like an Ancestry.com where you know they'll you request it, you bought it, you bought a little testing kit, you swab the inside of your cheek, you send it back, they test your DNA, and they kind of give you a breakdown on where you're from. You know your family's from here. Uh, this is what your your lineage looks like. You might have 23% of Africa, 23% in Europe, 23% in, I don't know, South America, so on and so forth. But 23andMe is, is Ancestry's only competitor at this point. The reason why I got 23, or sorry, the, the reason why I got VGAC on this list is because VGAC and 23andMe, they about to be merging. So they about to go public and then it's going to be viable on the stock market right now. It's all a private company. So the reason why I think this is going to go up is one, because of merger. Two, because 23andMe, they just dropped some stuff that Ancestry don't got, all right? Ancestry's the top of the line, but 23andMe coming for their neck. Yes, they are. So look, uh, 23andMe just dropped like a, a, a COVID DNA test kit, right? It's not like COVID tests, but you take this test again, you'd probably do the same thing. I'm not sure, I ain't got the kit. But you probably, you know, swab your cheek and you send it back in. And what the results that they send you is, you know, basically telling you how susceptible you are to contracting COVID and having to be hospitalized. Now, the reason this is important is because, you know, COVID right now is a growing market. Like, not COVID, but the COVID testing kits, and it's a growing market. A lot of people, they want to know if they got it. They want to know if they had it before. They, you know, they just want to know. Everyone's scared. It's a pandemic. Everyone's kind of, you know, frightened right now. So, this is big. Ancestry doesn't have it, 23andMe does. But how they do this is all by genetic code. So, they check your DNA, and if, you know, if you're able to get it, 
your family might, you know, just might be able to get it. Your kids, your so on and forth, your, your mom, your brother, whoever. But they might be able to get it. But this is all done through uh, your genetic code. They just read your genetic code. So that's that's one cool thing that they got coming down the pipeline that I think this is going to be a big sell, you know, a big buying point. Sorry. I think this is going to be a big buying point for this company, for people to invest in it. Uh, you might get people that's more, you know, buying into it, not just the stock, but buying their product and it's going to raise the price up. Getting into this, I would just consider that you take profits before the merger happens. So historically, when mergers happen, you know, two companies come together, they do what they do. You know what I'm saying? They, a lot of people like that. They like, they don't just like it, but it, it means money. When you're going into a merger, a lot of people get in because you're bringing two players from one, you bring a, you know, a, a crowd from this field and a crowd from this field and you're bringing them together. It just, it's just good revenue, right? But typically, after the merger, the stock drops like hell. So I would say get into this. They just dropped this news on the 4th of February. I'd say get into this, you know, ride the wave, ride the heat, you know, get, get the pub, get all of that stuff and get out before the merger. Uh, I currently don't know when the merger is, so you might have to do some of your own DD and you know, search it up. When's the merger for um, the VGAC and, and 23andMe? But you know, if I find out before y'all, I'll put it in one of my future videos, all right? But you wanna get in before, you wanna get in before the merger and sell it before the merger as well. And you might, you know, give it some time, give it some time to kinda like even out after the merger is, you know, I can almost bet on it that it's about to drop, but give it some time let it cool down and if you want to hop back in there hop back in there but after the merger you just leave it alone that's what i'm about to do so last thing uh it's, it's the the stock is currently vgac after it does the merger it's just going to be me all right i'm guessing for 23 and me it's just going to be labeled as me so if you're still looking for this after the merger and you can't find it look for me all right cool that's one the next stock we got is sndl sundial growers Shout out to my boy Jerome for putting me on this, all right? He put me on this one like, shit, maybe December, maybe like late November. But uh, the current price for SNDL is $1.13. SNDL are federally licensed producers of cannabis products in Canada, all right? Now, in the last 30 days, this stock jumped up 100%. But again, that's a penny stock. That's major, 100%. A percentage is a percentage, but, you know, it's just 50 cent. Um, I've been watching this on my stock apps and you know, this is always like I have scanners for most volume You know, which got the most volume who, which company's getting the most buying right now and SNDL has been on the top five every time You know, not always number one, but at least within the top five So they're getting like millions of millions of share uh, shares sold and bought every day facts about SNDL So on December 11th SNDL was given 180 day extension, you know, before, maybe before December 11th, about six months before, they're like, look, you got to get in compliance, all right? The NASDAQ, they don't want to see uh, stocks under a dollar. So usually they give you a year to fix that. Um, so they told SNDL is under a dollar. Look, you got six months to fix this. And in December 18th, I think that's when they six month expired. That's when their six month time limit expired. So on the 11th, NASDAQ gave them a letter like, look, we're gonna give you 180 more days. And shit, shortly after that, they already, they already crossed the $1 threshold. So now they got to stay above $1 for at least 10 days, 10 consecutive days. As long as they're above $1 for 10 consecutive days, they're back in compliance. And on the 21st of December, SNDL, you know, they let their, their uh, investors know like, hey, we're 100% debt free. So at this point in time, although we're a grown company, we have zero debts right now. Zero freaking debts, that's really good. So one thing to note with SNDL, since it's the MJ sector, uh, there's a lot of risk in it. Because you know, a lot of politicians talk about, like, hey, we wanna you know, move forward with going legal and with, with uh, MJ. I ain't gonna say the word because I think YouTube, it either flags it or categorizes the video in a certain way. But, yo, we trying to we trying to push this MJ stuff so it's legal and we can use it for recreational use. That that's what makes it risky though. You know we have other other politicians. It's like nah nah bro, not not in my America. And that itself makes it risky. So uh, after doing some research, U.S. Senate leader Chuck Schmauer, Schmuer, I think his name is, he's committing to to recreating a, a marijuana reform bill. Now, if this turns out good, you know that that'll open. The marijuana sector in the U.S., the SNDL. They're again, they're a Canadian company that allow them to come down here and do their thing, and they operate smoothly, right? And again, that's gonna rack up the numbers. 
everybody out here doing MJ, I mean, that's gonna rack up the numbers big time, you know what I'm saying? But if he fails at this, I don't think it's gonna kill the numbers of SNDL. It might go down to 100%, back to 50 cent, 60 cent, 70 cent. You know, they still gonna do their thing. It's not like the company's getting shut down if they can't work in America, but you're gonna lose money if you get in it right now. So, my, my strategy for this stock is to get in, get in at any point under a dollar, all right? Get in at any point under a dollar. I wouldn't fully invest into this stock, like not 100%. If you got $500, I wouldn't put $500 in it right now, but you know, average down a little bit. So today, you know, throw some money in there. Not today, at the time of this video, maybe Monday morning, you might want to throw $50, $100, or, or whatever you got to play with. Throw some money in there and, and see how it works throughout the week. You know, maybe Tuesday, see if it goes up and if it goes down. If it, if it goes to 80, at least you know you only put $50 in there and you could throw some more dollars, you know, some more monies in there. What I'm gonna do is put some money in on Monday you know, I'm just gonna use a hypothetical number. I'm just gonna put 50 in on Monday and watch how it goes. Tuesday, I'll put some more money in depending on how it's going. If it's going up, if it's showing price strength, I'm gonna add 50 more dollars. If it's going down, you know, I'll make that decision to add money or not add money. The way I make that decision is to see the percentage. So if it goes over, you know, if it goes down over 10%, I'm probably just gonna pull my whole $50 investment out of there. But five to 10% range is kind of like where I'm considering, or five is like I'm considering getting out 10%. I'm out that joker, all right? And for our last stock, the company we're gonna go with is A-Tier Pharma. I believe, I might be pronouncing it wrong, but it's spelled A-T-Y-R-P-H-A-R-M-A. -A but the ticker symbol for this one is LIFE, spelled L-I-F-E. The current price for A-Tier Pharma is $5.50. So the market cap for this one is $50 million, all right? That's pretty low for a company. You know, to be running a company, a pharmaceutical company at that, it'd be $50 million. Uh, for my guys that's new to the stock market, my guys and girls that's new to the stock market, market cap basically tells you how, how valuable a company is. So I'm just going to shoot off the hip. I think Tesla's market cap is like $40 billion or something like that, like 40 bill. And that tells, you know, looking at that, that tells you like Tesla is a huge company and the public thinks it's a huge company. So this is how much money they have. Um, not, not all of it. This is not like all the money they have. It's just what they're valued at. Now, this one, again, it's a pharmaceutical company. It's only $50 million. $50 million is a lot to people like you and I, right? But that's not much for a company. So this this alone, this uh, this market cap alone tells you it's kind of risky. But what uh, Life is working on, they're working on inflammatory disease medicine, all right? So recently, they have, uh, they've treated patients with COVID with this medicine. And 83% of those patients that took this medicine so you know they they got better in a week one week one freaking week 83 percent this this is some good news for this medicine because again everyone's frightened with covid they're scared about covid uh you just don't know i mean covid out here it's out here it's out here all right and these streets ain't safe all right but with that good news with that report uh the analysts they think that this study is going to lead to their market cap doubling which is going to make them a bigger company or at least give them more money to do what they got to do maybe to get their products out maybe to re you know uh pay more researchers scientists whatever they got to do and when their market cap doubles you know they're going to be able to do more and it, obviously if the market cap doubles it's going to make the stock price go up as well with this with this news alone it's going to make the stock price go up so analysts right now they're rating this you know there's three there's three points for analysts there's a medium sorry there's a low a medium and a high again i said this is five dollars and fifty cent the analysts right now they're rating this at a twelve dollar low like the low point they think the the low point for this stock should be twelve dollars the medium the medium they're saying thirteen dollars and the high they're saying fifteen dollars now the analysts they're not always right but these are professionals these aren't just you know bums off the street saying hey whatever thirteen dollars fifteen dollars these are professionals they analyze stocks they they probably been doing it for a while and these are wall street analysts so they're they're the real deal but again they're saying the low this taking that at that this this stock is five dollars and fifty cents they're saying the lowest price for this thing should be twelve dollars that's like what a seven dollar gain six dollar fifty cent gain look that's good and if it goes up to $15, then you just tripled up. The average volume for this is 1.4 million, you know, sales and shares per day. But recently, this has been getting 7.5 million. So, you know, that, that again, that stat right there just shows you that people are buying this 
a little bit more than average right now okay a lot more than average almost three or four times more than average right now this one's probably gonna be a killer in the next up and coming weeks again just like uh, SNDL we're gonna do you know we're gonna put money in this over a few a few days okay just pick three days and whatever amount of money you got if you got ten dollars do your thing if you got ten thousand dollars do your thing and just the principles likes SNDL once you're you know five to ten percent loss rate if you're in that range, you might want to consider getting out and reevaluating. You know, again, keep an eye on the stock, but wait, let it let it find its bottom a little bit, and you see that's price strength. Just hop in it, but not all your money at once. Just a little bit here, a little bit there. You know, maybe 10% here, 10% there, 20% here, 20% here. All right, I think that's the safe way of doing it. All right, y'all, that's all the stocks I got for y'all this week. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope these plays make you some money this week. Please do your DD. Although, you know, I'm dishing out these plays, I'm taking the time and I'm doing the research, you need to do your own research too because if you don't understand the company, you're not going to understand why it's jumping and why it's falling. All right, guys, that's all I got. If you're interested in investing, you want to find a broker, you can use Robinhood, you can use Webull. Those are the two that I use because I think they're the most user-friendly. You know, use that link in the description below. You, you get you some money, you get me some money. You know what I mean? start a little nice all right if i made y'all some money last week please leave a like a comment share this video and turn that bell notification on all right we're trying to get them subs up we're trying to get them subs up i'm out here trying to work to 100 and then 200 and 300 and then what i say after that we go into the hey until then stay blessed